I died and angels exposed the truth. The uncharted purpose of human existence. Amid the labyrinthine corridors of time, the year 2015 unfurled its enigmatic tableau, casting me as an unwitting protagonist in a nursing home, tethered to the nocturnal realm. The night shift unfurled its tapestry, weaving threads of connection with elderly denizens seeking solace in the quietude of the dark. A warm cup of tea, a fleeting chat, ephemeral gestures that crystallized into a meaningful presence. In the shadowy recesses of night, one aged soul, haunted by the specter of her late husband, sought refuge in nightly meditations by the window. I, a silent companion, an intangible echo, stood centile, offering a solace that transcended the spoken word. Yet, as I navigated the web of these nocturnal chronicles, an insidious decay gripped the tendrils of my own existence. A dissonance whispered through the corridors of my mind, and an inexplicable cadence emerged in the rhythm of my menstrual cycles. A curious dance, almost twice a month. Confusion, a silent companion, fueled initial dismissal, attributing the dissonance to the nocturnal dance with time. Months ebbed and flowed, and as the ephemeral dance persisted, realization dawned. A precipice of uncertainty demanded medical pilgrimage. The oracle in the white coat unveiled a revelation a symphony of my blood cells in discord, a condition that bespoke the somber requiem of dialysis. In tandem, the enigma deepened, severe uterine fibroids, a silent insurgency in the sanctum of my being, necessitated immediate intervention. The harbingers of healing, the doctors, proclaimed a hymn of surgical salvation, a hymn with a refrain in the key of hysterectomy. A labyrinthine journey ensued, a pilgrimage to the Temple of Hospitals for Sanguine Transfusions, a prelude to the operatic overture of surgery. Post, surgery, convalescence unfolded as a rhapsody of daily workouts, an arduous ascent towards the zenith of restored strength, the crucible of healing, though wrought with the molten agony of recuperation, bore the promise of rejuvenation. Yet in the tapestry of trials, a poignant absence unfolded, the poignant refrain of missing my daughter's nuptial soiree. Just when the crescendo of post-operative convalescence seemed to herald a respite, the fickle whims of fate dealt a capricious card. A visceral urgency propelled me back to the sterile embrace of the hospital. A cacophony of agony echoed through the surgical wound, a searing melody of pain. The oracle, uncertain about the provenance of the insidious infection, pledged Herculean efforts to stave off the looming specter. Within the clinical confines, a room saturated with the scent of antiseptic, I beheld familiar faces, my cherished daughter and husband, pillars of strength in a realm tinged with affliction. Yet the agony, an unrelenting tempest, shattered the veneer of composure. As the corporeal vessel languished, the ephemeral tether to the material realm slackened. A violent vertigo, an ethereal unraveling, precipitated an ineffable departure from the confines of corporeal bindings. In this nebulous interstice, a realm divorced from corporeal encumbrances, a profound warmth greeted my disembodied essence. A metamorphosis occurred. Pain, a spectral phantom, vanished in the alchemy of this ethereal sanctuary. An instantaneous tranquility enveloped my spectral form, an elixir that eclipsed the temporal scars etched on the canvas of my existence. Amidst the symphony of medical machinery, the operatic overture of a ventilator, and the anxious cadence of nurses in silent discourse, a spectral apparition manifested beside me. A figure, an ethereal luminescence, stood as a harbinger of solace clad in a robe woven from the fabric of soft light, adorned with wings reminiscent of celestial purity, she emanated a radiance that transcended the spatial confines. Her countenance, a visage of pure and dignified grace, radiated a love and warmth akin to a gentle sunbeam caressing the recesses of my soul. In this surreal encounter, the ephemeral luminary unveiled her celestial identity my guardian angel, the effulgent embrace of her love. 
extinguished the embers of solitude and fear. The corporeal shackles dissolved, and in the company of this celestial guide, I traversed realms uncharted. Pain and anxiety, ephemeral specters, melted into the cosmic tapestry, and my liberated soul danced to the celestial rhythm of ethereal serenity. In the nebulous embrace of the unknown, I was no longer alone, for my celestial guardian stood as an unwavering sentinel, bestowing strength and comfort in the symphony of the transcendent. In that inexplicable moment, the tapestry of life unfolded before me, its intricate beauty eluding complete comprehension. Love, an elusive thread woven between the realms of existence and departure, emerged as the celestial bridge between life and death. A query materialized in the ethereal expanse. Was my mother also present in this cosmic ballet? The angelic response affirmed the prospect of a rendezvous, an extraordinary invitation I hesitated to promptly accept. In this luminous cocoon, an indescribable serenity pervaded, an intensified tranquility, reminiscent of sacred echoes within church walls, yet infinitely magnified. It was an immersion into a reality, beyond reality, a sanctuary resonating with boundless love and peace. Abruptly, the cosmic embrace released its grip, thrusting me back into corporeal confines, the resurgence of pain signaling my return. Beside my bedside, my husband sat, a tangible anchor to the earthly plane. The realization dawned. I hadn't relinquished my earthly tether. Yet with closed eyes, a gateway to the angelic realm awaited, where warmth and love emanated from the celestial guide. Over the ensuing two days, a spectral dance ensued, a oscillation between the realms, a celestial commute. In the ethereal cocoon, my body radiated a golden glow, an ephemeral luminescence binding me intimately to the cosmos. A symbiosis with everything. A litany of questions cascaded in the angel's direction, an eager exploration of life's enigmas. The purpose of our terrestrial sojourn unfolded as an oracle's response. To unearth unconditional love within and bestow it upon others. Each of us traverses this path. The variance among us lies in our intimacy with love. No path is superior. All of us are evolving and transforming. The epiphany resonated. Love, the universal quest and mission, irrespective of diverse backgrounds and experiences. Each journey of growth, a unique tapestry unfurling. The angels became recipients of my queries about Earth's embrace, and the ethereal reply lingered. The choice is yours. Multiple junctures in your earthly odyssey will present opportunities to linger or return home. Pensive contemplation ensued, a deep communion with the celestial beings, tempered by a poignant reluctance to depart the celestial haven. A poignant thought of my child disrupted the cosmic dialogue. The realization struck. Her resilient spirit had weathered myriad storms and my abrupt departure would be an unbearable tempest. A surge of selflessness ensued. I couldn't be an egoist. The celestial rendezvous could wait. My earthly responsibilities beckoned. My decision, a pact with responsibility, echoed through the celestial abode. Earthbound, I chose to remain, tethered by the cords of maternal obligation, to bestow love and support upon my daughter. A solemn responsibility etched in the annals of motherhood, irrevocable despite personal desires. The ephemeral discourse, though fleeting, bestowed upon me the profound meaning and value of life, along with the weighty responsibility I must shoulder. In the moment of choice, a cosmic force yanked me back into the realm of reality. My body, heart's cadence, and surroundings reclaimed focus. Struggling to open my eyes, the sterile confines of a hospital room came into sharper relief. The hum of medical machinery, a stark contrast to the celestial symphony. Gradually, control returned to my corporeal form, my fingers responding to command. The doctor stood there, an earthly oracle to unravel the mysteries of my corporeal vessel. The revelation arrived, a ruptured appendix, 
a malevolent infection arrested by the earlier antibiotics. In the crucible of good health, my trajectory skirted a different fate. This odyssey into the ephemeral realms crystallized an enhanced appreciation for life. The choice to linger on Earth, a commitment to loved ones, and an unyielding embrace of existence. This transformative experience, a catalyst for a metamorphosed perspective on life, illuminated a path of mindful existence. The ephemeral ceased to disturb my equanimity, replaced by a fervent focus on cherishing every passing moment. A metamorphosis extended to the macrocosmic outlook. The interconnectedness of humanity, an intricate tapestry woven through varied life experiences, unfolded before me. During a routine physical examination, I bared my soul to the doctor. Recounting this celestial sojourn, her acknowledgement resonated. An uncertain prognosis loomed, yet survival defied the odds. The priceless experience, a testament to resilience, impelled a recalibration of values and a reorientation of life's trajectory. This transformative odyssey, an impetus to live with purpose, to radiate love and care within the orbit of my influence. The cosmic dialogue inspired a renaissance, steering me toward a more meaningful existence and an earnest dissemination of love and care to those traversing the earthly odyssey alongside me.